Continuing the education of our vulvas and our bodies. What is HIV? HIV is an acronym for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, a virus that attacks the body's immune system by killing the T cells, or CD4 cells, that help your immune system fight off infection. If too many T cells are killed, the immune system becomes very weak and vulnerable to opportunistic infections and cancers. This is the last stage of HIV and is called AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. A person can be HIV positive and not have AIDS, and someone who has HIV may never develop AIDS. How can HIV be contracted? Blood, including menstrual blood, vaginal fluids, semen, pre-seminal fluid, rectal fluids, breast milk, sharing needles, unprotected anal sex with ejaculation which poses the highest risk for HIV transmission. What are the ways the HIV virus can't be transmitted? Breathing in air, swimming or bathing in water, insects like mosquitoes or ticks, saliva, tears and sweat not mixed with the blood of an HIV positive person, shaking hands, hugging, sharing toilet seats, plates, glasses or drinking fountains, closed mouth kissing, open mouth or French kissing if the mouths in question don't have open sores or bleeding gums, massage or erotic touch. Remember we spoke about prevention. How can HIV transmission be prevented? Male and female condoms used consistently and correctly and preferably with lubricant. Dental dams can also be used by serodiscordant couples, one positive partner, one negative partner, to reduce risk. Pre-exposure prophylaxis is a daily medication which reduces the likelihood of someone contracting HIV. Post-exposure prophylaxis is a medication a person can take within three days of being exposed to HIV and reduces the likelihood of contracting HIV. Know your own status. Know your partner or multiple partner status. Get tested and treated for other STIs as other STIs can put someone at risk for transmission of HIV. Avoid unprotected high-risk sexual activities like unprotected anal sex. Use protection if you have multiple partners. One needle, one person, one time only. If used correctly, an HIV positive person on ARVs can pretty much live as long as someone who is HIV negative. When and how should you test for HIV? Knowing your status allows you to know what you need to do. Get tested once a year for HIV and other STIs. If you've been exposed, talk to your healthcare worker about PEP if it's within three days of exposure. The rapid test checks for antibodies that the immune system develops in response to the virus. It can take up to three months for antibodies to develop. The RNA test checks for the virus itself and can detect the virus 9 to 11 days after exposure. You can get HIV counselling and testing at any local clinic, dedicated HIV clinics or mobile testing units, as well as at some pharmacies. Testing, testing, testing. Be fearless in leaving no one behind in the HIV response. Zero new infections by 2030. The more you know, the less you fear. So if you are unsure about some stuff, check out the link here. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching Vagina Varsity. Remember, the more you know, the less you fear. So sign up for Vagina Varsity.